The first IBM PC was built with a beige case. When PC clones started to appear a few years later, they were also beige. Beige was your only option. Sometime around the late 1990s, manufacturers started making PC cases and other colors, mostly black and silver. By the 2000s, PC cases had become more colorful and imaginative, with front panels that looked like fictional characters or had an artistic design. Around this time, people started modifying their cases in different ways, mostly to gain cosmetic appeal. Since then, PC case mods have become more and more sophisticated. For example, we've gone from cold cathode lighting to RGB LEDs, from clear plastic windows on one side to glass on all four sides, from black standard fans to lighted fans, and from stock air coolers to expensive water cooling systems with custom fit clear piping with fluorescent dye that matches the theme of the case. When I decided to put together a new PC, I had no interest in LED lighting or any fancy looks. However, I didn't want to stick with just an off-the-shelf case. Since it's been roughly 25 years since beige cases started to fade away, I thought it would be fun to do a retro case that looked old. It would have to have a, a mini tower or mid tower size. Uh, it would have to be ATX compatible, uh, but it would have modern features inside. Old beige PCs all share some common elements. They have a gray or silver metal frame that is exposed on the inside and the rear. The power supplies have a similar silver color. There are usually air vents on the front, either fake or real. Uh, and the top and sides are plain beige. They all had floppy drives and they eventually had CD drives. I didn't want to buy an old case and retrofit it for a new motherboard. It would have been a lot of work and it would have been a prototype at best. I thought it would be easier to start with a modern case and make it look old. After looking at several current models, I picked the Be Quiet Pure Base 600. This case is primarily designed to minimize noise, but I didn't choose it for that reason. I chose it because it was one of the uh, smallest full-size ATX cases available to accommodate a full-size ATX motherboard. And it's got two five and a quarter inch optical drive bays in the front. Plus it just looks really plain. It has problems aesthetically. There are air vents on the front sides that run the, the full top to bottom length. Uh, the front plastic plate has angled edges. Um, the power supply mounts at the bottom of the case, but an old beige PC would always have the power supply at the top. And because the power supply is on the bottom, then the case has taller feet to lift it off the ground to allow air circulation for the power supply. But an old case would have been a quarter of an inch or a few millimeters off the floor. The main problem with this case from a functional perspective is I don't think it has great airflow. While the case has space up front for three large fans, I can't imagine that the front panel has enough perforations in it to allow those fans to move as much air as they could. To fix the airflow problem and add a retro aesthetic, I found this beige uh, plastic air filter and fan mount that's got an old school PC look. It actually looks more like a small bathroom vent fan. The front panel of the Pure Base has plenty of room, so I figured it would fit easily. And for 12 bucks, I figured it would be a good risk, so I bought one. Here I am using an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to cut the front square out of the case. It's plastic, so it cuts easily. And I used a steel file to clean up the cuts. And then sandpaper to smooth them out. Here I'm using wax and grease remover to clean any fingerprints and grease off the case, off the front. And I put on two, three coats of primer. It's a white colored primer. If I had to do this again, I would not use primer. But the front panel has a very fine, like a, a brushed metal texture. And I wanted to fill that in to get rid of it. But I think the color coat was heavy enough, it 
would have minimized those lines. And this is probably the third coat of primer here. And this is the paint I used for the, the beige color. It's called almond. This stuff goes on pretty fast. It covered really well. It went on thick. I did two light coats. And here's the top. I didn't have the camera rolling when I started painting the top. Uh, so this is the second coat. And this is the plastic top panel of the case. It's removable. I gave it two coats. And this is uh, one of the sides. Both sides are identical. And I'm painting just the very inside edges just to make sure that none of the black is visible once the cases, the, the sides are installed. So I'm just doing a real light coat on these. And then I'll flip it. Paint the outside. I think I had to do three coats on these to uh, absolutely cover all the black underneath. May end up needing another can of this stuff. These are the vent pieces from the front. There's a uh, an inside vent piece that I did not paint. Just left it black. And it fits on from the inside. And this is the silver for the back. Uh, if I could do it again, I would not use this color. I'd use more of a gray. This is too metallic looking. And here's the case with the tape removed. You can see the gray slash silver back and the beige top. So we see a little progress. And here's the final result. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. The floppy drive and the DVD drive finish out the look. Here's the rear. I put in an old ATX power supply in the bottom. Uh, when I build the actual PC, I'll get a modern power supply and probably paint the back silver. And you can see the random rear slot covers in there. I even reapplied the serial number label right under the fan grill. Here are the side vents, or at least one of them. They turned out well paint-wise, and they look okay. The optical drive is a real Blu-ray drive that I painted beige for this project because you can't buy a beige one. And the floppy drive is a real floppy drive, uh, but of course no mother motherboard is going to have a floppy controller, so it'll remain just cosmetic. And I did not put the filter media in the front fan filter, uh, but that'll go in when this thing gets its first use.